Constantly creating, imagining life in a new color. And what color is it? Today, lime green. I love that color. Spring, man. New beginning. Even though it's fall. Uh, you should hear the band tonight. It's spring in my life. You just spent a week with, I would have to say, 20 all-star artists at the Peak Performance Project. Highlight for me, honestly, was uh, this one night that I was uh, hanging out on the dock and I got woken up by this crazy pack of wild hyenas. They were just howling and running around and trying to give me hugs and it was like 4 a.m. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never do that. I might do it again. Every moment was memorable from the very start. The thing in the very last night, we were all hanging out in the dock together. There was a, a random sing-along on the dock where people were just caterwauling nonsense lyrics and it was just like, they reminded us, I think, all why we were there. Hearing everyone screaming their guts out and not trying to be perfect or on point, just like feeling everything together was pretty special. And we were all joking. There's no way we could ever describe this, that we couldn't use the words life-changing and so many other cheesy words, but it was the most awesome-tastic. Awesome-tastic. It was the most uh, deeply profound moment for my band and for me personally I've ever had in my life. Really though was uh, making friends with everybody. Honestly, it was just nice to just hang out for a week and just work on our stuff. We're all trying to make it and we're all trying to help each other. The community that develops, it sounds so trite and so ridiculous, but it really is there and you know, getting here tonight, that was really evident. Um, I love the fact that you, this year, brought yourself a band, Bodie Jones. You were a solo guy last year. How did it feel to have this kind of backup? Uh, good. It feels really good. Uh, I wasn't as terrified. I didn't throw up before the show this year. You guys came over from Australia, had to form a cover band, and then were looking for a lead singer. Am I right about that? I, I came from Australia with another original band. We broke up. I was close to going home a few months ago, so I started up a cover band. We tried to get Bodie in, but he was so busy with last year's peak performance that he didn't want to do it. Garrett Cato is just like the hype yeah. man. Bodie Jones, number one. You know, <laughs> he's the reason why they didn't leave the country, so... You're going to Australia? I am, I am. I did a record with the guy that did Xavier Rudd. I'm going to be going there for a little bit and doing my thing, but that's that does not matter. <laughs> peak performance <laughs> artist from last year now, hanging with Xavier Rudd to hang. And you I know what you Tamara said. Standards. Okay, thank you. That was and really good, but I just. Awesome. And I love you, Joe. Joe is and really. It's just been a love-in this, it really this year. It really is. It really is. The one thing I learned is that I can manage to function without sleep a little more than I thought. I need a lot of sleep. I need like nine hours. What was the most valuable lesson that you learned at Bandcamp that you are going to be able to apply to your career from here on in? Well, I think Garth Richardson kind of put it best. Get some sleep, you guys look like shit. <laughs> that and was also, there's good songs and bad songs, write good songs. Exactly. Who said that one, Dan? Garth Richardson. Oh, genius. God, I learned so much. That's I don't think I could say one thing. I think I learned that if you just are yourself, then you're gonna come across how you wanna be. But you gotta really own it. I feel like sometimes people are bashful about who they are, and that's just not the point of being a person. So $100.5,000, which you have a chance to win. What is the frivolous thing that you are going to reward yourself with? We're not allowed frivolous gifts for us. <laughs> There's like a criteria of what you can use the money for. I talked to Music BC and I was like, so what if I wanted to use that money for this? And they were kind of like, well, whatever angle you can give it to us on, work your angle. But I want to tour Europe. Is there any particular move, dance move, that the Acres of Lions can share with their fans right now. I, I've always been partial to ground fisting, which is more of a like, you, you get it wide, you get wide in there, and it's like you're actually beating a man's skull into the pavement. If you get a whole crowd doing something of that nature, I like the good old over the head clap. That, that can work too though, that can work. I prefer actually the beat the man fist pump down to the ground, but that's how to dance from Acres of Lions.
in Australia, do you have anything that would be comparable to what we're doing here? Nothing. <laughs> we really don't. That's why I came here, because the music industry in Canada is a lot better than Australia. Way better. It's a true story, Garrett. It's a true story. <laughs> So um, Bodie Jones ditched me and then I found Jeremy from the left. What's really cool is to see that you guys are out supporting the bands who are in the top 20 for year two of the Peak Performance Project. Um, year one for you being the first guys must have been an interesting year. How do you think it affected your life? It's changed our lives in the manner that we are able to pursue what we want to do. A lot of people that are important in the Vancouver music industry are involved in this project so it's something that can change your career for the better. Uh, take it very seriously and Good things will hopefully happen. And, and that's another thing, you get to be on a full hug basis with Tamara, so. That is actually better than winning, right? <laughs>